Hey everybody, how's it going? Dirty 55 here. And today we want to talk to you guys about a possibility that Iron 3 coming out and they are an epidemic. Let's start off with Dead Iron 3. Now, there was the creative director fielded questions about the series in a Reddit QA. I'm going to read you some of the, the um, questions to ask and stuff. Alright, so it was asked if Dead Island 3 will be made, and he said, I would not expect the series to stop at this point. Probably, I, that will give you a hint that Dead Island 3 is coming out. I'm gonna get, get to what I think about it later on. And also, let's see if any new Dead, Dead Island Riptide DLC is on the way. And he said, For now, I can only ask you to wait a little bit. Way a bit further, then some really nice things will be revealed about the future of Dead Island. Now, I gotta say this: the first Dead Island, the trailer was actually pretty nice, pretty meaningful. Oh, one second. Mm. Okay, that's much better. It actually was meaningful, but when you play the game, you you just like, what the fuck is this? Because the the trailer has so much meaning to it. I mean, just I mean, for a trailer, it had, I guess, I don't know if you have a lot of views, a lot of views on YouTube, get some trailers do, some trailers don't, I don't know, never really f focus on the views, how much a trailer gets, I, I guess, I guess you could say it's a lot, because it had over a million, I think people are still watching it, but anyway, the trailer was nice, but the game, just like, what the fuck is, like, what the fuck is the meaning, the trailer has so much meaning to it, but, when you play the game, it's so, so dull, and it has so many glitches, I'm just say one glitch, it's just that, um, when you, when, uh, you try to play with somebody, actually, no, we, we have more than one person in the car, and you drive around the corner, the passengers in, in your vehicle, the game will freeze, every single time, and the only way, for, the only way for everybody to get out, get around the corner, is to either walk, by yourself. I mean, you walked all together, but not in the same vehicle. Oh, I got one. Or you just take a vehicle and do it one by one. It's just guy. fucking Who's dumb. No. And plus, you couldn't play with yeah. anybody within the first couple of days. Or it was probably longer than that, but I don't know. It was horrible. And Dead Island Riptide? I don't know what that. I should even count that as Dead Island 2. Cause two never, I don't think two ever came out. I will not count Riptide as two. Count it as Dead Island 1.1. One. It's not even worth it 1.5. that fucking bad. I mean, come on. I downloaded the game on PSN, and there's only what? Two gigs. I mean, it's like fucking really? Two gigs? What the fuck is the rest of the game at? I mean, it's it didn't even yeah, feel like it was that was even right completed. I mean, I downloaded Final Fantasy yeah, 7 I again. I will. I will. I will. I'm finally, I'm gonna it's try to beat it, even though, even though I got well, corrupted the data on it last it's time and fucked, it up, fucked up everything. Okay. I'm gonna try to, I mean, yeah, we corrupt the data, and this, and that game was like a little bit over one gig, I think. So, I don't, that, gives, that gives you thought about <clears throat> what did they do to Riptide. Because that game, oh my god, that game <clears throat> was hacked within the first week. It had to have been a full week and they have hacked weapons and stuff. To me, I'm like, H how? I looked into it, it had the same, the same coding. Basically, basically, it's like, let's say if you make a product this way, right? And you try to come out with a better version, you use the same stuff, basically. You didn't change anything, you just made one uh, made one improvement, like one new feature, and you call it a new product, even though it's really the same thing. That's basically what Dead Island Riptide was what it's about. So, I don't know, man. I don't even know if it's going to be worth buying. Techland's not going to make it anymore, because Techland's working on Hell Raid. Which is coming out for current gen and PC, and Dying Light, which is coming out for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, in um, 2014. But you, they had to get like a very good developer to make that game, to revive the franchise. Cause I know I lost faith in Dead Island already. I mean, I love it. Just 
Because I bought the first two. I bought the special yeah, edition okay. for Dead Island 1. And I kind of regret it. Get it. Regret getting it. It was fun at first, but I just regret it. I mean, they should just, they better do something to actually make me want to buy it. They better come out with a, a demo, a very good special edition that's going to be like $40 or something. Because they just lost a lot of fucking faith from me. So now, get into Dead Island Epidemic. It's a free to play MOBA multiplayer online battle arena and it's coming out for PC I'm thinking it's gonna be next year because we don't know who the hell the developer is, developer is. and it's only gonna be for PC now that I actually will try out because well it's free to play you're not losing any money at all <clears throat> so it's really good on on the consumers end because they're not spending any money on the game anymore I mean but if it's just gonna be like like a um you fight you fight each other then you also fight zombies to survive like we haven't seen that type of game anymore I mean before I mean they probably just like probably like a whole lot of a whole lot of um people like what eight people I guess or I don't know how many and then you all fight with this type of dead island weapons like you had to use they use um melee it's, it's like stuff of what type of weapons wow I cannot talk right the type of weapons you find in Dead Island period because actually that would be a good idea mm. good kill good kill I mean come on you guys let love some people love like what Dead Island was trying to do but the game probably when they spend money on it they expect it more but it didn't come out to be like that if they do that then I don't know Maybe it will mess up Dead Island 3. I mean, it'd be no point in coming out with Dead Island 3, but oh, hey, at least there'll be some people playing Epidemic. Because I know I would do that. Considering the, the state um, Deep Silver in, Deep Silver is at, I will probably head into that direction. Just to get the fans back. I mean, come on, there's really no other way you can do it. Uh, the. The Island franchise is basically dead. It's the only way to revive it is doing this. They better choose a good ass developer too to make this free to play game. Actually, you know what? They don't need a good ass developer. They just need good ass ideas for the game. Alright? And that is it. What I want to talk about. If you, um, if you want to find out more information about these games, I guess, it, I guess it will talk about it later on. Later on this month, sorry about it or maybe at gamescon they'll be there i don't know but anyway guys that is it hope you guys enjoyed this video please please give it a like thumbs up me a like and thumbs up the same shit dumbass anyways give it a thumbs up comment subscribe um like me on facebook to know which game which game i will be recording next also vote for me in king of the web i will say this every single time See, so this will be stuck in your brain. Oh, no. oh, I'm gonna say this. So, Wolfman King in the web. Link in the description below. And yeah, if I once again, if I get in the top three, all the money I get will go straight to you guys as the giveaway. And that is all I have to say. So, once again, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe and happy gaming.